first thing you do when you come in in the morning is QC on the cameras, which is quality control, to make sure that your equipment is working properly before you start your scans for the day. And then your patients start to come in. We do all sorts of procedures, and most of them involve um, giving the patients an injection of a radioactive isotope and then imaging that patient, looking for different disease states, cancers, the abnormalities, just trying to figure out um, what's going on with the patients by doing diagnostic test testing. Mm -hmm. the, the most rewarding part of my job is actually the, the schedule and the fact that I get to work at, I work at a hospital. So working in the hospital setting is more rewarding because you have various um, players of the healthcare team that you interact with. So the benefits of that, like I said, is you get to work with um, the nuclear med technologists, the nuclear physicians, the radiation, um, the, the nuclear physicists, um, radiation safety team. So um, that's probably the most rewarding. On top of the fact that you get to occasionally interact with the patients. In the outside setting, you, you, you really don't get much interaction with the patients. But you're primarily going to be either going into physics or engineering, uh, some kind of engineering field. Uh, I'm board certified by the American Board of Radiology, which is another, another common requirement. Um, so you're looking at uh, four years, bachelor's, a master's degree, um, maybe a PhD if you want to get into research, and then a, some kind of residency program as well, which is usually two years. You get to use some cool tools. Uh, you get to use a lot of new stuff, a lot of cutting edge technology, things that are that we really haven't even thought of. We got a call on the help desk, critical call in the middle of surgery, and the computer wasn't working. Um, didn't couldn't get the PACS image up, and obviously it's very important during the surgery to be able to see that image so that you're fixing whatever part of the body that you're fixing, you're fixing it right. So you can see where problem solving skills come in there. You really have to look at the whole puzzle and start putting pieces together. Um, in, this card, in this case, it ended up being a network card that wasn't working, so we had to pull the computer out and replace it quickly. The most rewarding part of my job would be the end result. Um, we're given a lot of complicated scenarios and um, in the end, we're providing the tools necessary for the doctors and for nurses to do their jobs more effectively. And, in, and the end result, uh, basically providing the community a better, better health care as a result. I come in at 9.30, I leave at 6. Uh, typical day, come in, um, get caught up on emails, uh, users calling to ask questions, answer all the phones. Um, we have to answer all the tickets that come in the queue. Uh, every once in a while we'll have computers that we actually have to build and deploy and we will actually go and deploy those computers. But basically most of the time it's just answering the phones and um, helping the users get through their issues. They have to enjoy communicating with people. They have to have patience and they have to enjoy computers. If you don't like sitting behind a desk, Dealing with the computer all day, it's not for you.